Welcome back to Rayman 2 everyone. As promised, we are going back to the Echoing Caves. Um, I looked up where the two missing lums are and they are in the stupidest places. Like, I am literally blind. Um, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, actually blind. Because watch this. I was actually mistaken. Uh, at the end of the previous episode because I said that you would need you need to have 15 lums by the time you unlock the door it's actually 20 um, yeah I'm an idiot but hey well actually there's no excuse because these are aren't even that hidden watch this numero uno is right here now why this bitch doesn't home in on you, I have no idea. Don't ask me. Uh, but he doesn't. So there was that one. And numero dos is gonna be right over here. And we cleared it out. That's it. Yeah. This platform one, I will give it up. Uh, this one is fairly well hidden. The other one, I don't know how I missed. Well, I know how I missed it, I was not looking around. Uh, so that's the Echoing Caves cleared out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next sanctuary. Which is not actually the next sanctuary, because, well, whatever, I'll explain. Do a quick save. We are going to the top of the world. Oh wait, first we have the top of the world. This is also kind of a gimmicky stage. And the gimmick is this chair. Chair train. Um. Okay, that was weird. That was really weird. Extended, you know, camera freeze. We have one of these guys. This guy is an idiot who just stomped us so we're gonna quickly take care of him and we have this chair so this is like a rail type section um, the thing that's kinda annoying about this place is getting all the lums this is a little bit of a memory exercise you have to kind of be aware of where they are. I tend to know most of them, so I think I'm not gonna miss any. But you know, there's always a possibility. And you can also shoot. It's kind of pointless. Yeah, so this is the... Okay, I missed one. I missed two. I missed quite a lot. We're gonna do a restart. Go! We are gonna... Um, okay, we got that one, we got that one, we got that one. I think that's all of them. So again... This is just kinda how the stage is. We already got 28 of them though. Um, again, it's a little bit trial and error, as many on rails sections tend to be okay where was this piece of shit there we go all right we're solid we're solid i think that's it as in for the first section of the game this is a very very short stage uh we are already like almost at the end we have these guys. This is the main enemy for this level. Uh, we were kind of introduced to these guys already. Kind of like a gimmick enemy. But a fun one. I'll give it up. Oh god. I do not know where the second cage is though. That's one thing. That's 
one thing I'll admit. It's probably... Nope. I do like the atmosphere of this place. Um, the top of the world. It kinda... I don't know. I don't know, I always liked this place as a kid. Okay, there's barrel number one somewhere. Speaking of barrels... Oh wait, they just give it to you free? I didn't know that. Yeah, with these guys you just have to take cover. I don't know what the big celebration is. The guys are easy as hell. Okay. So let me show you what the deal is. The deal with this level is... Oh yeah. Fuck, what do you do with the barrel? I'm gonna have to check it. This is probably gonna kill me. Yeah, it does. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I was... Overthinking that a little bit. As you can see, the second stage is nearby as well. Again, this is a very, very short stage. Music is cool, though. Um... What do you need this for? Okay, hold on. Oh, fuck. I literally don't remember what you need that barrel for. We'll find out in just a bit, I guess. Oh, shit. They really are giving you freebies here. Nice, ooh, nice, ooh. I think you just gotta be... Listen, if I miss any lums in this stage, it's gonna be real embarrassing. This is simple as hell. Hmm. <laughs> that barrel at the bottom, I don't know. I guess you could use it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you do need to use that barrel for something. I must be just blind. Uh, we're gonna have to go back. Because there is supposed to be another... Right here. And you have to take the... Yeah, you have to take the exploding barrel with you. Alright. But as you can see, considering how we're doing on this stage, this is shaping up to be an easy one. The next stage, not so easy. And the next next stage, even less easy. Yeah, you can see the trick here. Just gotta be careful. Gonna waddle over. Okay, thanks, camera. Almost fucked me in the end. Yeah. And we have the little teensy. So this homie is gonna do his thing. Oh fuck, I'm gonna miss a lum, aren't I? I can already tell. Cause there's only one here. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh-oh. What did I say about... Oh, thank fuck for that. Alright. I got super lucky there. Luckily, I already cleared out the enemies, because I think you have to ex escort this guy, sort of. Except, you don't need to do much escorting, because things are already cleared out. He's coming, isn't he? Where the hell is he? Did he get left behind? I think I might have gotten him left behind. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Where are you at? 
Oh, there you are. He was scared. He does a little climbing and shit. This is the only time that you get to like co op with this dude. The white phantom. Alright. And we got this awesome charge shot. But don't tell me he got left behind again. Yeah, he did. He did. Excellent. And that was the stage. Easy. Very easy. By far the easiest level uh, in the later game, that's for sure. Oh. Listen, I'm gonna try... This might be a solution. I changed the angle of my keyboard. Ah, oh, it's too exhausting. I don't know why I keep trying though. I'm stupid. There's no way, there's no way. Yeah, it's just giving me pain. Um, no thank you, Rayman. Ah, Jesus. I'm sure this amounts to your completion. I'm not actually sure. But damn, Hall of Doors, we go. I hate that I have to like embarrass myself after every level doing this. There we go, Sanctuary of Rock and Lava. All right, so this place. We have one of these places with Lee, but I think once you've already gotten it, I mean the stage once, it doesn't matter. This is a very interesting place. This is a sanctuary, so like a main area, but you actually do it in two parts. So you have this part first. It's like creepy swamp with the zombie chickens. I've explained the zombie chickens before, right? I think I have. The music here is sick. This area always reminded me of that earlier stage, the bayou, which is one of my favorite stages. So this initial part I like quite a bit. How did I, how did I save myself? Oh shit. I thought that was a different platform. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I cannot keep my golden gloves for long, apparently. Hopefully. Shit. Hopefully I'm okay lumb-wise. Cause... We seem to be lacking in... Lumbs, boys. And yeah, we have these enemies, these eyeballs. They show up sometimes and they're just w weird. Uh, nothing more to say about weird turtle shells. Again, I don't know. Like, I feel like this area has like an atmosphere to it. Just like the bayou. There's a reason I like the bayou as well. And with that, we get more gloves, a freebie. One shot this little bitch. Oh, this is the eyeball room. This, this place is so weird. Bitches drop lums as well. I can't believe that first section doesn't even have a single lum. music 
Shout out to the music. Um, can you not get it from here? It's very possible. Always a solution, right? So anyways, today, well actually, I don't know what's today. When this episode is going to be uploaded, probably Friday. Um, there is going to be... Um, well, I'm coming back from holiday. No, actually I'm coming back on Saturday. So I have until then to come up with a game to stream. Because I think I've reached the conclusion that... I think I'm gonna wrap up the Soul Level 1 uh, Dark Souls 2 playthrough, or like no leveling Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Just too painful, I can't believe I got hit like that. It's the worst way to get hit. Yeah, it's just too painful, like... I gotta keep some semblance of fun. This is also a sick theme. It's probably the only thing that doesn't use the classic um, Rayman. Did you see that? I'm a fucking dead shot. Not dead shot, but uh, actually, it doesn't make sense. I'm dead shot. I'm just dead shot. I always thought these spikes. I know they're supposed to be like a massive uh, spiky thorns. They always look really weird. They kind of look fleshy. Um, oh yeah, that's how long you have until you gotta move on, boy. Are you kidding me? Um, so I'll, I'll come up with something. Somebody recommended a Souls-like to me. Like a sci-fi Souls-like. And not the one with the robots, the Surge. Not the Surge. You cannot grab these seriously? I'll look it up. If it's any good. I overshot. Hmm. These are not smart deaths. In fact, they, they are what you would classify as dumb deaths. Do you guys remember that Dumb Ways to Die song? That shit was super viral. I remember it. My reflexes saved me. Top reflexes. Top Tanya reflexes. I'm just talking shit. Oh, oh fuck. This is a workplace hazard. Fucking OSHA would like to have a word. This is a nice stage though. This one kind of, aside from the first spot, I'm gonna be honest with you, this stage never left too big of an impression with me. I thought it was okay, but... Mm, oh shit. I'm, oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a physics system for you, if you need one, right? You. I fell off like an idiot. But maybe that's not even the platform you're meant to jump onto. No, that is the platform you're meant to jump onto. And then you gotta go up here. Make sure not to miss any lumps. I don't think I've missed any. If I remember correctly, and that's, you know, not guaranteed, I seem to think there's quite a bit left of this stage. Ah, oh, this is an annoying spot. So what you gotta do is, yeah, you just time it right. 
I used to be shit at this when I was a kid. Is that really surprising though? I don't know. Okay, I'm four away. And one cage, which is the... Teensy cage. Okay. I don't know why he did that. I think he always used to do that. I don't know why, because this part is not actually that difficult. I say as I immediately get killed. But ignore that. Hell yeah. Is this already... Hmm. Okay. We might have a slight problem. If this doesn't contain two lums, um, we could have a problem on our hands. We do have a problem on our hands. I'm missing two lums, which are, I guarantee you, in the swamp area at the start. Definitely. Definitely. I don't think I've missed anything in this section. The actual stage section. It's all good. We'll, we'll make it. It's not that. At least. At least it didn't happen. You know what didn't happen. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick look. A quick look here at the start. Luckily, this full health thing respawns, which I absolutely failed at. Doesn't matter. So we'll take a quick, quick look. Just because it doesn't take any time at all. God, this, this guy is like wrecking me. If this ain't it, then this ain't it. And I'm pretty sure it's near the turtle shells. At least I seem to remember... That's why I found this place weird. That I seem to remember there being... Lums hidden in this area hmm strange 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 listen I'm not gonna lose sleep over it uh, a place called YouTube exists for a reason and that reason is to look shit up in video games when you are stuck. And you bet your ass that's what I'm gonna do. Nothing. Interesting. There's no way there's something in here, right? Nah, it's just a swamp. Alright, we're gonna exit. I think you can quit the level like this. Um, I did save, didn't I? Damn, 70% of the way through. Um, here we go. Beneath the sanctuary. This is kind of an involved level. But we're gonna do this. This is the actual main quote-unquote sanctuary. I'm definitely not gonna get um, 50 lumps on this one. This one's pretty complicated. Probably one of the harder stages. This also wrecked me when I was a kid. Loaded up on lumps, boy.
Like how he always hesitates. And they have to let him know just to go. So this stage you arrive and it looks like you're screwed. Gonna have to do some Nathan Drake style plat for platforming. I can't even talk. What did I get myself into? Why did I start this stage? Already been going for a long time. Cool. And the bad news? You have colon cancer. That's not it though. Yeah, this is the thing, you can now fly. We can like properly fly. Controlling this is a motherfucker. Um, that's all I can say about it. Um, so yeah. So you gotta like, yeah, there's a reason it tells you to use control, as I immediately get killed. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be, as you can tell, we've arrived at another thematic stage. Oh, this is gonna piss me off. Listen, this is not easy. Uh, on PC especially. Although this probably wasn't... Even, no, this wasn't easy on console either when I played it. Because I did play this game multiple times on console as well. There ain't exactly relief there. That's what you're expecting. Doesn't matter. So yeah. Don't touch the walls. Don't touch anything. You also got enemies. Collect the 50 lums. That's the... That's the theme of this stage. Ah. Okay. This might be... Yeah, that's why I said, what did I get myself into? This is why I said it cool stay cool so far so good checkpoint the checkpoints are a godsend in this level oh yeah and you also have these fucking wind tunnels that push you forward or backwards Half the time you can't do anything about the camera either. Damn. We got it. And once you get the hang of it, it does become easier, but it's getting the hang of it. That's the challenge. And collecting fucking... Can I not go back? I cannot. Because the, the wind tunnel is still pushing me. Okay. This is a very nice looking area though. Uh, you gotta admit, like, this game is pretty impressive. From a area design perspective. Oh, it pushes you off too. Yeah, from like a level design perspective. This game is, I would say, fairly impressive. Um, oh god, why am I so tiny? Ok, 
Okay, I got the message, fam. Don't, don't stand on that platform. Okay, we got a cage. Please tell me there are no other lumps here. There might be. I can see them putting... Putting stuff here. Listen, so you might be wondering, hey, are we just gonna be able to fly from now? Well... If you think this is gonna last, do I have bad news for you? I haven't been play keeping up with video games. Oh yeah, this is... This ain't gonna be like a flying game from now on, a fucking Extreme Assault or something. <laughs> Does anybody here actually know Extreme Assault? Uh, it used to be like a... It's like a helicopter shooter game. Came out on PC, I think. And I'm sure other consoles as well. Pretty fun game. The only thing that was shitty about it, which I never liked, is that you had to... Hold on. Is that it wouldn't let you past a certain point unless you cranked up the difficulty. There were four difficulty settings and it was like... That was... Hmm, fuck. Okay, I know the gimmick now. And you couldn't make it past a certain point. Like, if you picked medium... You could only see like... A quarter of the game or something. Like, imagine if they did that shit right now. Nowadays, that would be... Honestly... Pretty, it would be pretty funny. Um, it's like, hey bitch. Um, oh fuck yeah, I can fly. I'm stupid. Uh, it's like, hey bitch. You wanna play on easy mode? Well... You don't get to see the rest of the game. Uh, but obviously that was a... That was an old school thing. But yeah. Anyways, that was a thing. That was a heli- again, helicopter game. That's why it reminded me of that. Started my helicopter phase when I was a kid. You know, like how you have phases when you're a kid. You're into Star Wars, you're into spaceships, or Legos, or whatever. That started my helicopter phase. I identified as an attack helicopter for a while. So here's the deal. Are there lumps here? Hopefully there are. Yeah, there he is. The golden boy. And this is why... I told you. That shit ain't gonna last. You'd be way too OP. Fouch. Not pouch. Fouch. Fred Fox, you know. He's a very German sounding dude. I do like that this is actually like a proper boss fight. Uh, and man, did he give me shit when I was a kid. Because I could barely make it through the stage, and I always had low HP. So I, he always pissed me off. But is it that difficult? No, he's not. Deals like no damage. But again, it's nice that it's a proper boss fight. He dead. Dude is a bitch. I'm telling you. Cool. How many am I, am I missing? Five. Hey. 
The flying thing was nice while it lasted. I missed, uh, <laughs> look at that mask. That mask is absolutely insane. I don't know if this is the creepiest one or the first one. The first one with the Joker eyes is still the worst one. Okay, so I've been missing some lumps uh, in this stage and the last one. So I'm gonna start clearing it out. Unfortunately, uh, that means having to go through the flying section again. Which I'm absolutely looking forward to. Yeah, he just cuts to the chase at least. This is where they were getting fed up with the cutscenes. Man, that mask is insane. Alright. Cool. Anyways, I think that about wraps up this episode of Rayman. Next up is the Grave of the Ancients, uh, which is quite an interesting area. Uh, to I like this one. I like the Tomb of the Ancients, not Grave. Same thing, really. Yeah, we'll pick it up from there. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Rayman 2. And peace out. See you.